Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters, and welcome to the joy and art of plastic model building. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. What I thought I would do is, since we have so many new subscribers over the last couple of months, this is going to be a kind of a, a little close-up video of some of the kits we've built over the last year or so. Uh, as I finish up models and after we put the video out, I sometimes mess around with them a little bit more, add a little bit more weathering, fix something on it. So these are all been touched up in a slight way, some more than others on it. So I thought I would just take a few minutes and let you guys see all of the work. Also keep in mind, any of these models that you're about to see, there are full build videos somewhere on my channel that you can check out and see how they actually go together. So it's a lot, a lot of fun, this hobby, and I hope you guys get the same enjoyment out of it as I do. So, let's get started. First, we're gonna take a look at is the Mini Art 135th scale London bus. And this is a bus from the uh, the mid 19 teens, and it would later go on to be used in World War One. You also notice this base quite often that through this video, it works out that it's a good platform to show off models that we can put on the turntable. This kit right here is the Ammo by MIG King Tiger. Now this model was originally produced by TACOM, but Ammo by MIG had them produce a special variant. And as you can see, it has the night vision up on top, as well as the 105 millimeter barrel and a different engine deck. This model is to represent a what if tank, a basically like an August of 1945 if the war had progressed and the Germans were able to put the 105 and the night vision and things like that on it. And it, the color wise is a red oxide primer and as it would have come out of the factory and then just lightly sprayed with whatever paint they would have had. And in this case, it would have been the late war Dunkelgelb or Panzer Yellow. Now we have to me as 148 scale P38 Lightning. Up next, we have a really massive uh, model. This is the Das Work 35th scale Fawn L900. And this is just the truck portion. The, uh, the actual kit came with a trailer, which we will show you in a minute here. And as you can see by the size of the trailer, the whole unit is gonna be absolutely massive, almost two feet long. And this was a large enough vehicle that you could actually put some small World War II tanks on the trailer and in the bed of the truck. Border models 35th scale Panzer IV. This is the F1 version and it is done up in a winter uh, Russian scheme. As you can see here, it's got the, uh, the whitewash paint that the Germans would apply, but it's a little bit uh, been weathered off quite a bit because it was a water-based paint, so it would come off with the snow and the rain, things like that. Now 
Next up, we have the Tamiya 120th scale Ferrari SF70H. It is a Formula One car that is all built strictly right out of the box. And actually, we use nothing but Tamiya spray cans as a test to see how well they work. This one right here is Tamiya 35th scale Martyr 3M. And we've gone ahead, and this was the kit that was the updated kit. They gave you the new, uh, basically, Lincoln Link tracks. And as you can see here, we also put a fair amount of foliage all over the top of it as a camouflage. Next up, we have probably one of my more favorite uh, builds that I've done recently, and this is the 116th scale Panzer I from Tacom. It's a, a great size kit. You get all the detail of a 16th scale model, but in something that's actually pretty easy uh, to, to show off because it's not super, super large like some of the, like a panther or a tiger would be. Next up, we have a pair of Tamiya 112 scale super bikes, including the uh, brand new Honda CBR 1000RR R. And coming around on the other side is the Ducati 1199.
Next up, we have the TACOM M3 Lee cast hull. And what we did on this one is we went back and put a little bit more weathering on it. These were used as training tanks in the United States to get the troops ready. And therefore, they actually trained in the south, so there was a lot of moisture, a lot of rain. So I just envisioned a tank that really got beat up, got left out in the elements, has a little rust on it, a little wear and tear on it. Next up we have the Tamiya 135th scale KV-1. This is the uh, brand new kit, all new molding that just came out in 2020. This is the Tamiya 135th scale Panzer 38T. Here we have another M3 Lee. This is a kit made by Academy in 35th scale. This time we went ahead and did a little bit more of a faded olive drab on the vehicle to give the, uh, the effect that this is a vehicle that has been in combat for a long time and the paint is gradually fading out to more of a yellowish green color instead of the darker olive drab. Next up, we have the Tamiya 35th scale M3 Scout Car. Next up, we have another 16 scale, very, very tiny one at that. This is the Japanese Type 94 from TACOM.
always wanting to mix it up from time to time, this is the Masterpiece Models All Resin Bucket Loader. So there you go guys, there's a quick look at some of the models that we've built over the last uh, year or so. Lots and lots of fun to be had here. And like I was saying earlier in the video, that if you want to see any of these built up, we have build videos, complete build videos actually, of all of these that you see on here. So I want to thank you guys as always for watching and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.